Hi everyone, it's time for another flight report. In this episode, we'll be flying on an Airbus A350 with Singapore Airlines from Manila to Singapore. Singapore Airlines is using Terminal 3 at Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Since I have already checked in online, dropping my bags went smooth. After collecting my boarding pass, I decided to take a quick look at the shops around the public area of the terminal. From the immigration counters and security checks, I entered the departure area which was more peaceful as it was not that crowded. Before heading to my assigned gate, I took a walk around to check out the shops and dining options within the departure area. However, the options are limited compared to the ones in the public area. The pre-departure holding area of Singapore Airlines was a makeshift area of rearranged terminal seats. To make the boarding process efficient, passengers were asked to seat according to boarding groups. It was soon time to board the aircraft which was done according to cabin class. The crew were very accommodating as they welcomed passengers boarding the aircraft. The seats in economy class has an adjustable headrest and pillows were readily provided. The legroom was also generous and the personal high definition monitor looks good. The seat also features a cup holder. Mobile phone pocket and a USB power outlet. Opening the tray table reveals a vanity mirror and the tray table itself. There is also a power outlet under each seat. Hot towels were soon distributed as everyone settled. An in-flight safety video was shown as we push back. I noticed the good quality of the display which was indeed in high definition. We soon taxied into the runway and was cleared for takeoff. The seat pocket contains in-flight magazines including a duty-free catalog and of course an in-flight safety card. As expected, in-flight entertainment was top-notch. For Chris Flyer members, there is an option to log in so that preferences are saved and even resume a movie on a connecting flight. There are many movies and TV shows available with the latest releases included. The touchscreen is also very responsive just like an iPad. Aside from the extensive selection of content, maps are also available if you want to track your flight and see other flight information. The cabin crew soon started serving lunch. I opted for the chicken and tomato sauce which comes with some potatoes and vegetables. The meal also included a shrimp salad, bread roll with butter, white wine, and distilled water. Ice cream cone was later served for dessert, and I also requested for the signature Singapore sling while watching Dora the Explorer.
let's check out the lavatory. I find it very clean, with some toiletries available like mouthwash, lotion, and soap. There's also toothbrush kits, a bunch of toilet paper, and disposable cups for gargling. The cabin was soon prepared for landing as we approached Singapore. Here are some nice views of Indonesia and Malaysia on our final approach. We can see Pulau Ubin right there as we approach Changi Airport from the north. We can also see Changi Village where the best nasi lemak hawker stalls are found. And finally, we have touched down at Changi International Airport. Now here we are at Terminal 3 parked next to an A380 jumbo jet which is the bigger sibling of the A350. As we disembarked the aircraft, the lovely crew greeted us with smiles. Overall, it was a great flight with Singapore Airlines. Finally, it is time to collect our bags. I hope you enjoyed this flight with me. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and leave a comment if you had fun watching this. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. See you in the next one.